Now we're going to look at present value of an annuity. And the last video will be about amortization. Present value of an annuity is the lump sum, one-time deposit that can be deposited today that will equal the same final total that a series of equal periodic payments would make. Now, if you'll notice, remember the P, we've had present value before, and that's when there was just a lump sum deposit. So what we're looking at here in this formula, what lump sum deposit would equal the same amount as a series of equal periodic payments? We do not know what this grows to. We'd have to use different formulas for that. But we use this anytime you uh, borrow money to buy a house or a car, and you, then you are paying the bank not only the interest, but also what the money, if you had not borrowed it, would have grown to if it had been left in the bank. So now the P we've had, that's present value, and think about, you know, a principal. That's a lump sum deposited today. R is a series of equal payments. Now, the R's and the N's are the same thing as is T. T is time and years. But if you'll notice, I do have a negative um, with my exponent. So in this particular problem, it says on retirement, a couple wants to make a lump sum investment. That's a p-value. Paying 8% compounded annually so they can receive annuity payments of 10000 at the end of each year for the following five years. How much must they invest? Now notice a lump sum investment so they can receive annuity payments of 10000 at the end of each year. So lump sum, one time, that's my present value, and the R is series of payments. So putting it in the uh, appropriate positions, Let's go ahead and try this numerator. I think I'll just not store 0.08. So 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0.08 raised to the negative 5 divide by 0.08. And if I multiply by 10,000, That's where that amount came from. So the couple has to invest $39,927.10 in order to receive the equal payments of $10,000 for the next five years. Now, I want us to check something. We're going to see if the following amounts are equal. So I want you to find the compound amount of $39,927.10 if it's deposited at 8% compounded annually for five years. So I'm still using the same information up here, but now this is compound amount. This is our old formula. So let's pull this down, see if you agree with the positioning. So that'd be 39927.10 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to the fifth. So it comes out to be that. Now, let's see and go find the ordinary annuity if payments of 10000 are made at 8% compounded annually for five years. So this is our annuity formula. And if you go and do that, if you would, no, I didn't move this box, did I? But if you go do this one, notice that these amounts are the same. This formula, go back up, present value of an annuity, it does not give us what this money would grow to. It just gives us what money, if we borrowed it right now, how much we would have to pay in order it, for both of those to reach to the same amount. So this is one situation that we had there. So let me see what I've got right here. Yep, and they both equal that. Got an example. 
says Easy Loan recently offered 36-month auto loans at 9.84% compounded monthly to applicants with fair credit ratings. If you have a fair credit rating and can afford monthly payments of $350, how much can you borrow from e-loan and what is the total interest you will pay for this loan? So now this loan is at right when you walk on that lot and you borrow that money that is a lump sum that whoever you buy the car from okay or um, they get that amount of money but you're going to have to pay e-loan back for that money so that's why I have to use the present value of an annuity formula so they want to know how much could we borrow so the 350 would go here 0.0984 for my R the N monthly would be 12 and the T is time in years so it would be 3 so let's go do this one I'm going to put in my R divided by N 0.0984 divided by 12 storing for X okay let's go do our numerator 1 minus parentheses 1 plus x raised to the negative here I'll put it in parentheses let's say I don't want to multiply it out this time okay that's my numerator let's go divide it by what I have stored and now we'll multiply by 350 so you could get a loan for that much so how much can you borrow from e-loan that much right there what's the total interest when our total interest equals this is how much you're going to pay back three hundred fifty dollars every month for three years and then we take off the amount you borrowed and if you do that you'll end up paying one thousand seven hundred twenty seven dollars and seventy seven cents okay so you need to try some of these problems and that's it for this one thank you